Hi, this is Mike Young from Zoom. I want to talk about the AC3. That's a pretty new, cool tool for acoustic guitars especially, but also for guys who are using other acoustic instruments like upright bass, mandolin, whatever. The point is, this is an acoustic guitar effect unit that's made especially for connecting your instrument into a PA or amplifier and retaining the acoustic sound of the instrument. We've got a modeling system in here that takes a source guitar model and a target guitar model to subtly reconstruct the resonances and the acoustic properties of the sound that should come out of the sound hole of the guitar, not just the sound from the piezo pickup. We've also got a switch here I can uh, adjust to magnetic mode and then if I have a magnetic pickup pick up inserted into the sound hole, it's going to be adjusted to work best with that. So this is basically an all-in-one acoustic guitar effects unit. You've got uh, tools to restore your acoustic guitar tone, you've got a compressor, a tuner, you've got an anti-feedback feature. You let the guitar ring out while PA is on, you press this, it's going to search for the problematic frequencies and cut that a bit, your feedback is gone which you can also control with a foot switch if you uh, attach an external one. Yeah, you've got here um, a reverb that's always on. You can just adjust the amount from 0 to 100 on mix and adjust the tone. You can use that to also kind of reconstruct the acoustic tone of the guitar when you're sitting in, in the room you like to play. Uh, here we've got an effects section which we can shut on and off with the foot switch. We've got choice of a, vi a variety of different modulation type effects. We've got some chorus. Uh, yeah, why not hear something, huh? Got some chorus here, different types. Got some different types of delay here. We've got tape echo analog delay, which is more warm type of sound. Here. Some different kinds of reverb if we want. We've even got, um, it can be nice, we've got a pad effect, so you can create atmospheres. We've got a nice smooth compressor. Let me put this off. Just go dry now. Why not hear the super jumbo? So, put this off. No compression, if we're gonna need some, I'm gonna put this up a bit. Now that we're squashing the sound a little bit, can be useful. If we're gonna switch from strumming to picking, we've got a boost, so you're not gonna fall under the mix if you're playing in a band context, so. Alright, so that's the main stuff. Um, we've also got two XLR outputs on the back in addition to two uh, jack outputs here. This one here is also a doubling as a headphone output. Um, I should just say it is stereo but I'm just taking a, a mono output here. Alright, so here we've got um, two XLR outputs. If we've uh, set this uh, switch here um, to take a pre, then the left output is going to be just the DI from the guitar and the right is going to be with effects. If we press this to go to post, that means uh, it's, we're going to have a stereo output on the XLR with all the effects. So this is the Zoom AC3 and you can get this in the shop for 300 bucks.